Well, here at ABC 10, we stand for you, and that includes doing the work to support the community. And today, some 20 ABC 10 colleagues of ours volunteered at the Habitat for Humanity site. They help build homes for hardworking, low-income families. Our Becca Habiger takes us to the South Sacramento construction site and shows us why this is changing lives. At the start of a day of volunteering Wednesday morning, future Habitat for Humanity homeowner Shavonda Pitts called up her fellow future homeowners. I'm very proud of you guys. No matter what it took to get here, you guys have made it. All of the families participating in this affordable homeownership program are low income and currently living in substandard conditions. It's just unsafe environment. There's a lot of uh, gun violence there. Um, over the years. Pitts is a single mom of three working full time and yet she and all these future Habitat homeowners are each putting in the required 500 hours of so-called sweat equity working right alongside volunteers on Habitat homes. We started back in October. By the end of this week I should have about 486 hours. All throughout March, Women's History Month, Habitat for Humanity of Greater Sacramento is hosting Women Build events as hundreds of volunteers work on this 18-home neighborhood called Cornerstone, as President and CEO Leah Miller explains. Here joined today with me is the ABC 10 team who are out here with all kinds of muscle helping us to put the final touches on the last nine homes here of the 18 homes that we're currently building. So this is cool. I'm here in the kitchen of one of the completed Habitat homes of the Cornerstone development. A family is set to move in here any day now. Families have moved into the other completed homes, which ABC 10 helped work on at last year's Women Build. It's exciting to see how far these homes have come in a year, welcoming hard-working families. This year, ABC 10 is working on the final nine homes of this neighborhood. These homeowners are set to move in sometime this summer. I'm appreciative of the opportunity, and we just can't wait to get there and, you know, might run through the house <laughs> and say this is ours because we did it. And I say we because it was a joint effort. Yes, yeah, something to be very proud of. The Cornerstone development also includes more than 100 units of affordable rental housing. That's across the street from the Habitat Homes. More than 400 people will call that neighborhood home. We have more information on our website, abc10.com. And as you saw,